Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about bottle line control. So in this example, we will be using some normally open contacts and normally close contacts. We will be also using some timers like TP and T on. So let's look at the example first. Bottle line control. Bottles move along a conveyor, then gets filled in 15 seconds and then capped for 10 seconds only when a sensor detects the bottle. After that, the conveyors move again. So when start button will be turned on, conveyor will be on and it will move the bottles. And then when sensor detects, then the filling will start and it will go on for 15 seconds. And after filling the bottle, there will be the process of capping. So it will be after 15 seconds. So it will be after filling and the capping process will go for 10 seconds. And after that conveyor again moves. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this bottle line control example. So this is the interface of TI portal version 16. So firstly, we need to go to PLC tags and then default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So we have the first input as start button and then we have a sensor at the filling and capping station and then we have some outputs for example the first one is the motor which is moving the conveyor so it is an output so its address will be q 0.0 .0. and then we have the actuator for filling that will be a pump let's say filling and then we have capping capping would be a motor so i will write filling and after that so this will be capping and after that we'll go to program blocks and then main ob1 so here we will be drawing the ladder logic for bottle line control. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact for a start button and then I will insert a coil for the conveyor. So this will be start and then this will be the conveyor and then there will be a sensor that will detect the presence of bottle and when the bottle is detected the filling process will start so this will be filling and after filling the capping process will start so i will open the branch add a coil so this coil will be for capping process So we will use this normally open contact as a memory bit and that memory bit will be activated by the sensor. So this M0.0 .0 will be activated by a sensor and this M0.0 .0 should get on only for 25 seconds. So here we will insert a timer that will be TP. Okay. And then the pulse timer, the preset value for this will be 25 seconds. And in those 25 seconds, filling and capping process will go on. And in those 25 seconds, this conveyor should turn off. So for that, we will use a normally closed contact and that will be a memory bit M0.0. 
and then this filling process will go on for 15 seconds for that we will insert a timer that will be tp and this capping process will be after capping so there will be an on delay timer used here and then there will be tp so this filling process will go on for 15 seconds so i will write 15 s and the scapping process will start after 15 seconds so the preset value for t on will be 15 seconds and then the preset value for tp will be 10 seconds so the capping process will go on for 10 seconds and in those 15 and 10 that is 25 in those 25 seconds m0.0 .0 will remain true and that it will turn off the conveyor so we will start the simulation here okay After that, we will start CPU and then start monitoring. After that, we will switch to project view. Here, we need to create a new project. Let's create. After that, we will go to simulation tables and then simulation table 1 and here right click here and then click on load project tags. So when we turn on start button, start button, the conveyor will move and it will uh, the, uh, and the bottles will also move along the conveyor. And after that, when the bottle reaches the station, the sensor gets activated and that will Turn off the conveyor, the bottle will stop and it will be filled. And it will be filled in 15 seconds and in those 15 seconds the bottle is being filled. And after that, filling process will start and then capping will start. And the capping will be done for 10 seconds. And in those uh, time the conveyor was off and after capping is done conveyor again moves it was all about this example thank you for watching